Hello and welcome, welcome on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and to Magical Monday. And let me just Facebook, YouTube, get the comments here on my other screen for my Facebook friends. Happy Monday, everyone. So today is another magical day in paradise as I say that we're all here on this playground called Earth to learn and grow. And today's topic is what is your soul learning from this experience? And, and why did you choose this lifetime? And when you start digging deep into your why, why you're here, and, and keep asking those whys, you know, you keep going deeper and deeper. And it is a really profound exercise that of self-discovery. And if you've done my five-day self-discovery, um, five-day challenge, you will know that it's just digging deeper. And this is what I go into more in my programs. We keep going deeper into your soul's purpose, your soul's mission, why you're here on this playground, why your soul chose to be here. And for many, many people, we have had many lives. And so if, if you follow a religion that um, says, no, this is our only life, well, I suggest you switch this off now because we are just um, not on the same wavelength or same page. Though in my belief, my understanding and from the, the visions I've had is we, we have many lives and I go all the way back to Atlantis. So there's thousands of lives um, there. And in many lives, we've all had tragedies we've all been killed we've all um had you know either short or long lives and so for this life what is your soul when you start to really dig deep and ask these profound questions it gets you out of your head and into your heart and and the work I, I don't even call it, I don't like to call it work. Really, what I assist people with is showing them the bridge to reconnect back to their soul of who they are to oneness, re reconnecting them back to their soul's mission, their soul's purpose, why they are here, what they're meant to be learning and, and looking at all the tragedies, all the trauma, all those past significant emotional events in the past and what is the learning for their soul to grow and keep upgrading our conscious human operating system. But what we all came here to discover and explore is our more on our soul and what we're here to learn and grow, okay? Because pretty much that's, that's why we're all here. Um, any questions, let me know. But it's really going beyond the physical, beyond this physical skin bag of who you are and, and exploring who you are as a soul and who you are is an amazing, magnificent, multidimensional being 
that is unlimited. So you're not limited just to this physical 3D plane. You can go travel in your mind. This is where the meditations and the journey work comes in and all, all the guided, well, I, I guide my clients to rediscover who they are or we may go back to other lives to find that learning for them to utilize in this lifetime okay and thanks for being here on instagram hi joy nice to see you so it, it's about re-remembering who you are okay because none of us are new to this playground We've all had many, many experiences and we've learned through, through these experiences. So when I do healing work for people and what happens during the healing, it's just reconnecting them back to their soul. And when the feeling after a healing, it's like, wow, and all all. All that is, is re-remembering and coming back home. And, and coming back home to your soul is this feeling of reconnection. It's like, oh, it, it's like this is why I'm here. This is this magical place in this world that we live in. And, and it is magical. That's why I call this Magical Mondays, is to help you to rediscover the magic in your life, the magic within you, to tap into your internal GPS and follow your inner guidance and follow and listen to that guidance. We all have a guidance system and whatever word resonates with you and whatever you choose to call this is your connection to your higher self, to your heart, to your soul, to your gut. Many people use different words. So whatever word resonates with you and feels true for you in your heart uh, another presentation I do is connecting the, the, the three brains of the head, the heart and the gut. And, and this is how we make our choices and decisions on this journey. So this, yeah, l let me just pause there because I'd like to pull a card from the Keepers of the Light deck. And this is when we reconnect. Um, well, we all have our angels, masters, guides, guardians, god, goddesses. Again, whatever word calls true for you, they're all around us and there is no separation. We are all part of the one and there is no I'm here, you're there because energetically as an energy being, we are all one. So the, the masters and, and all our guides are, are with us on this journey and we're never alone. And I know, you know, um, a lot of my clients actually say, you know, this is a lone, lonely path. But when you open up to receive the guidance from source, well, then there is no separation. They are constantly with you 24-7. And um, hi, Kaz. Thanks for watching. So, yeah, your spirit, your soul, um, and the magic that you create on, on this playground is who you are. So we all came for a, a purpose, for a soul's purpose. And we chose our families. So for myself, I 
chose a family that didn't understand me, that were quite abusive, and I went through a, a lot of trauma, and which is why I chose this healing path and been going through lots of healing experiences to heal from my childhood trauma. And a lot of people um, have similar stories and why they are doing the work that they do. So, and for me, I have been on this healing path, but then at the same time, helping others who either resonate with my story or can or or, or are of similar mind and this is where I can um, move them to the next step, move them to the next step. With any teacher, it's finding someone a couple of steps ahead of you and then they help you and keep pulling you up to a higher level and we're all here to help each other to learn and grow. Okay, this card just jumped out. And <laughs> so this is the card, Life Force Sananus. And it is express your driving passion, sensual and sexual powers are increased. So this is a life force energy. And when you really tap in, because like I said, we are all energy. We are an energy being and the energy that flows through us is our life force energy and it also runs through our meridians, which are those invisible lines that run all the way through our body and, and in these meridians, we also have the acupuncture points and acupressure points along those meridians Sorry, my headband is, and, and along those meridians, if there's any blocks along those lines, well, it can cause pain. And, and if the longer this pain is there, well, then it may lead to illness or disease. So this is where acupuncture comes in. They put a needle in that actual point to free up the energy, to free up the energy channels and your life force. And when you rebalance and realign your life force energy, then you come back into who you truly are because no one was born with all the ailments and or injuries. Some people chose like cerebral palsy and, and other, you know, disabilities. Their soul chose to have that disability in this life. But when it comes to uh, depression and anxiety or other, you know, uh, illnesses and diseases like diabetes or stroke or any um, heart related, any circulation or lung problems, asthma, pneumonia, all these diseases are an end product of what's going on with the whole system. So when you, and this is where you can heal your own body, it's about opening up those channels and directing the energy to that part of your body to heal that area of your body. And when it comes to the healing process, there's usually many layers and peeling back those layers of emotions and beliefs and old programs and old patterns and um, habits and behaviors that have led to that end result. So the work I actually do is identifying what the root cause is and then we peel off all those layers for you to not only heal your body but to feel freedom and reconnect you back to who you truly are because as a baby you were born happy, full of joy, full of love, full of light and you just saw so many 
wonder and magical moments and adventures in your life. I know when I was five years old, I, and I, I still have this visual in my mind, I was outside and I was drawing on a, a rock and I might have been using chalk or just another rock that made like a chalk, um, chalk, you know, diagram or whatever. So, and I was singing the song. It's a John Lennon song, um, Leaving on a Jet Plane. And I knew all the words. Now, that was at five. I already knew that I would be traveling the world doing the work that I do, but I knew there was a whole nother world out there to explore, many adventures to um, explore, and, and I'm still doing that today. And so in all my travels, you know, my first big trip was three years long where I was on a walkabout backpacking around the world and covered about 35 countries and and then been traveling back and forth to different countries and this the end of this year will be going back out on the road and start traveling again I've been in one place for the last four years so I'm excited to be traveling again Back to the card, Sananas, I will share with you more about what the message is and see if this resonates with you. There is a deep buildup of life force within you now and a need to channel it into action. You may have extra energy and be alert then more than usual, or be aware of a sense of increased sensual or sexual energy. If you have been unsure how this ties into your spiritual path, know that it can allow you to access the richness of your soul. When we are not expressing ourselves sexually, our spiritual potential can become tamed or muted. So if you are denying yourself a desire, ask yourself, how can you fulfill it? Ask Sananas to help you access your sexual self so that you can express it with integrity and in a way that honors your soul. If you and your partner are trying for a child and this card appears, fertility is very possible, especially if Bridget Sananas's twin flame is pleasant uh, is present too. So that goes back to our, our core, you know, Maslow's hierarchy is food, shelter, sex. What's the fourth one? But you get the picture, okay? Air, <laughs> breathing, breathing, um, clean water. You know, there, there's certain, um, you know, major things that we need in order to live and survive every day and and the life force energy and breathing and our connection to source energy is all part of our life force and and how are you directing that energy how are you using that energy on a daily basis and you can choose to use it in any way you choose. So we all, all have this energy flow through your body. And if there's any blockages along those paths, it will manifest into some kind of physical ailment or physical sensation or behavior. Okay. So any, any questions on that? And it's really tapping in and listening to your body. And I know for myself, when I haven't had enough sleep, I can feel my energy and my life force low. Now, I can top it up and keep going, though it's important to take time out to rejuvenate, regenerate and rest 
as much as possible and listening to your body when your body feels exhausted well then that's an indication to just pull back and take care of yourself and and it's very simple it, it's just a matter of having boundaries and saying no to maybe <laughs> going to that party or going to that event or what, whatever it is, because sometimes we just need to say no to others and yes to ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to choose another card, and this is from the Good Tarot. And, and also remember, re-remember that you're unique you are so loved, you're so supported, you're this amazing, magnificent soul of consciousness that came here to have this experience, to experience this journey on earth in this physical body. So no one came with the intention of suffering or struggle. And I'll go back to, you know, when you were born. Nobody said as a baby, I choose to suffer in this lifetime. Delete, delete, delete. And so why, why are so many people suffering on this earth today? Why is there mental illness? Why is there so much burnout? Why is there so much illness and disease and people on medication? When, when we are really taking charge of our life and in control of ourselves, our choices, our decisions, and we make those choices based on what feels good, and we take charge of our own health and wellness, well, then there's no room for suffering or struggle. Let me know if that makes sense for you. Okay. Because as a child, you're just full of love and light and wonder and adventure and you're just this magical little being go talk to any two-year-old or three-year-old or they see the magic in everything and their mind is so unlimited though it's the adults that squash them down because of their wounding Uh -huh. So here is the next card, Queen of Fire. So Queen of Fire, I will just share with you what that means is creative collaboration, soul connections, passion inspired by spirit and artist. And the message is, I am capable of strong friendships that inspire me and encourage me to express myself in my own way. I co-create with others dedicated to a vision of achieving the highest good of all. How might I join in the dance of co-creation, letting spirit flow through me and inspire me to express my passion. I love that. So what this message is basically saying is you, you are free as a soul. You've got this spirit flowing through you. And this is where, and it mentions, you know, the dance of co-creation. When we move our body, when you dance, when you put on music, when you uh, go for a run or if you're into running or jogging or walking or any kind of movement, it gets the energy moving in your body. That's where the, the, 
the messages, the insights, the ahas, everything flows when you're, you know, it can be a walking meditation. And and when you're out in nature and you're um, enjoying and the sunshine, or it's quite cold here today, <laughs> uh, though when, when you're out in the sunshine or admiring the flowers or nature or talking to the animals or the nature spirits, you will receive information that just flows effortlessly through your body. And if you are trying to solve a problem or um, you've got something happening in your life that requires clarity, I suggest put some music on, go for a walk, dance around wherever you are, just move, move whatever is appropriate in that moment. And and it will and just keep asking the question and the answers will come. Remember, you have all the answers within you. Does anyone choose to have a card? And also remember, you can um, regenerate the energy inside of you. As I'm rubbing my hands, see, if you just rub your hands together, and just separate your hands, well, then you can actually feel the energy in between your hands. And what I like to do is create this ball of energy. And this ball of energy you can give to yourself. So this ball of energy, you can just wash it down over your body, breathe in, deep breath, deep belly breaths, and now you've just filled your whole body up with the life force, with the breath, also with the energy that you have created. And when you're creating that ball of energy set an intention of what's in that ball and then give that to yourself and give yourself self-love self-nurturing you know actually this is called havening and and it's a we have energy flowing through our body and we have energy flowing out through our fingertips so when you just stroke your face You're actually giving yourself energy and or if you just touch your fingertips, you're also energizing all those meridians in your body, which is the life force energy flowing through your body. Okay, simple exercise. All you have to do is touch and just tap the pads of your fingertips And that will energize your whole body and activate that life force energy because all these meridians flow all the way down from the top of your head to your toes. So that's a quick little exercise. And then you can rub your hands together, create that energy ball and just allow the ball of energy to get bigger and bigger Fill the ball with your intentions on what you choose to give to yourself, love, peace, joy, happiness, more love, more light, and then give that to yourself and just wash it over your body and then fill every cell in your body with love, peace, joy, happiness, fulfillment, bliss, contentment, whatever you choose, whatever makes you feel good. And on that note, I wish you a blessed day. Have a magical week on Magical Monday. Set your intentions for the week, for the day, every single day. And until I get to speak to you or see you, sending many blessings. 
much love and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.